Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is my honest five minute makeup routine. This is when I literally have maybe 15 minutes before I could leave the house and this is what I do. It's like you just rolled out of bed but you're a little bit more put together than you'd normally be. I'm gonna start off with the Anastasia Brow Definer. I love this because it really is super quick. It cuts my brow routine in half. When I'm in a hurry, I have no shame with using my finger to blend out the brush. No shame. <laughs> I love the formula of this pencil because it makes your hairs look natural. For my face, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional. I love this because even by itself, it just really helps the texture of my skin to look a lot smoother. And it'll make my CC cream last all day. For complexion, I'm going to go ahead and take my It Cosmetics CC cream. I love this because honestly, it makes my makeup just looks so natural yet it covers all my redness and my blemishes and I take it on a damp beauty blender I feel like it's just part of my routine to wake up in the morning brush my teeth and wet my beauty blender because I know regardless I'm gonna use it throughout the day so it takes no time with using this and I think it buffs and blends everything out so much quicker than a brush would take like one pump and just slather it mostly on my cheeks this also has SPF 50 so if you don't have time to moisturize your face, then this will kind of take care of that sun protection for you. I just do about one pump and apply it wherever I have redness because you guys know from my videos, I have a lot of pink tones. <laughs> I'm definitely not going for full coverage with this look, but I will be applying some concealer. This is Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer. I love this. This is literally my holy grail for school. Just a little bit of this goes a long way, and I like it because I'm not using my more expensive high-end concealers for every day. It also blends out really well on blemishes. When I do my concealer, I also go on my eyelid because my eyes are pretty red, especially in the morning. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply some chapstick. This is the Kiehl's Lip Balm. When I feel like I still need some more coverage, I'll take my Disgusting. I can't believe I'm sh even showing it on camera, but it's my Urban Decay Naked Skin Powder. And I just like to take a Morphe E34 and brush it on any- Oh my god. I'll brush it on areas that I need more coverage or on my T-zone. I'll also take excess and just go under my eyes. I feel like the whole focus of this look is honestly lashes so I take the Tardius Tarte Mascara and apply this to my top and bottom lashes. I do about two to three coats and it's pretty good. It's a very lengthening mascara and it's really really dark. So while this coat is drying I'm going to go ahead and use my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and use this to kind of sculpt out my cheeks. I really like it because it's very easy to blend even though it looks super dark. Oh my god. You could just blend it out and it won't look as harsh. Yeah, it'll contour and bronze you up. I know in the mornings I usually look pretty dead, so I appreciate things like this. Also go ahead and take any like fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441 and just apply this into my crease to give me my color. I'm not going in any like, you know, perfect blend or anything. I'm just applying this for some color because I put on the concealer there and I feel like it looked white. <laughs> for blush, I am taking the e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. This is like their studio blushes. It's like three dollars but I feel like they're so easy to blend and they're so softly pigmented that it's really easy to just apply it to your cheeks and give you some color. I do these looks, I don't really like to go on for the full on sculpt because I feel like what's the point? <laughs> and of course, you know I got a highlight. I'm gonna apply the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I think this one's perfect because it's not too crazy highlight but it gives you more of like a natural sheen. And I always take a little bit of whatever highlighter I'm using and just apply it into the inner corner of the nose and cupid's bow. I know it's excessive but I feel like it makes the look put together. And I'll go in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. 
see. I think this is the perfect your lips but better color. I also like to go in with my finger and just blend the lip liner onto my lips. I'm just gonna apply the last coat of mascara. And there you go, that's the look that I do a lot when I go to school just because I don't have time to glam up my face. I just don't. <laughs> this look literally will take me about three to five minutes, like max. It's so quick, it's so easy, really simple, and it doesn't have to be so accurate because let's be real, I do not have a steady hand at like six, seven in the morning at all for some wing liner. If I have time, I'll do like more of a glammed wing liner and kind of like a soft brown eye, you know, for school, but most of the time, if you do though, I applaud you. There are some girls in my class for like 8 a.m. class that come with like a full blown out smoky eye and some lashes. I'm like, like you slay the day. I applaud you. You are who I look up to and aspire to be, but I'm just too lazy for all of that. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Good luck on your semester. We got this. We got this, guys. If you ever need some, like, inspiration, I did do a vlog on, like, my study tips and stuff, so make sure to check that out. Also, sorry about the hair. I just didn't do it this morning. I'm sorry. See, sometimes I just don't have time. I don't have time. Okay. I'm gonna go to class now. <laughs> have a great day. Bye, you guys.